Located on the Kamau Fjord, north of the Chilean Patagonia, is Winai, a land never touched by man, surrounded by pristine wildlife, which covers nearly 34,000 hectares. It is precisely this surrounding that makes it unique, a privileged natural laboratory that hides incredible secrets that are yet to be discovered. Hidden among the fjords, this scientific field station was created as a spin-off from the San Ignacio de Winai Foundation, an initiative of Indesa Chile, part of the Enerces Group, together with the Universidad Católica de Valparaíso. This foundation seeks to significantly contribute to the study and conservation of its ecosystems, as well as the biodiversity in Winai and in the region of the Patagonian fjords in Chile. Here, since December 2001, is a laboratory that's open to both the national and international scientific community. It gathers biological, physical, and chemical knowledge of the marine, terrestrial, and atmospheric systems. How can we actively add value to the preservation initiatives that take place here? The scientific field station has focused on in-depth knowledge in order to avoid the destruction of the fragile ecosystems, helping to preserve one of the locations in which nature stands untouched and promote its sustainable use. In this line, scientific investigation is one of the main activities in Winai. Without doubt, the discovery of a new species is a great achievement for any researcher interested in the basic sciences. More than 50 new marine species have already been discovered in Winai, and another 100, which will very likely be new to science, are currently being studied. Among these are stone corals, corconaceas or sea fans, sponges, anemones, soft corals and sea slugs, that make up an ocean backdrop that is unique in the world. But not all the scientific work takes place underwater. Land ecosystems, with their enormous variety of flora and fauna, are also there to be studied. In this context, the Alerce tree, or Fitzroya cupressoides, has earned a place of its own. This slow-growing species is the largest and longest living in Latin America and was subject to intense cutting during decades, which almost led to its extinction. In this line, the people behind the Winai Ecological Forest Restoration Project are working hard to recover eroded areas and communicate the value of native species. With this in mind, a tree nursery with more than 28,000 seedlings of 37 ecologically important native species was created. Alerce, Canelo, Ulmo, Cipres of the Huaytecas are some of the species contemplated in this reforestation project. <laughs> Inserted in the isolated and remote province of Plena, in the commune of Walaiwe, the San Ignacio de Winai Foundation also supports the development of the local community by means of a series of actions and instruments, among which stand out medical and dental attention, electricity using a mini power central that they share with the community, transport by means of the foundation's motorboat and the hiring of local labor, as well as internet for the local school. Today, the youngsters are visiting the scientists at the lab.
among the Foundation's key achievements are having contributed to making part of the coastal area of the Kamal Bay a protected zone, which means limiting human activity throughout a 15-kilometer long and 75-meter inland stretch, and keep it intact for future investigations. Work does not end here for the Wunai Foundation. Something more important is letting the world know the results of these investigations.